Hi, my name is Idalise Baez, and I am a sales engineer at Progress Software. Today I'm going to be talking to you about our new MongoDB 8.0 driver. I first want to show you the environment that I have set up on my machine. I have a Windows 8 VM, and on that machine I have MongoDB 3.0.3. You can see in the command prompt in the center of my screen that I am connected to a database called Test. I found this Star Wars data online from a Star Wars API, and I extracted this data into a JSON file. I'm going to show you what this data looks like. This data lists out several of the Star Wars species from the franchise, and it then goes through different classifications, their heights, their skin colors, hair colors, what films they were in, and the list goes on. And as you can see, there are many nested arrays with various lengths and sizes, and this data goes on pretty complex and not uniform. So now I'm going to take you to the DataDirect MongoDB 8.0 ODBC driver that I have installed on my machine, and I'm going to take you through and show you how our, how our driver can look at this complex JSON data and normalize it so that you can run SQL statements and SQL queries on this data. And we're going to add the DataDirect 8.0 MongoDB source. And from here, I'm going to give it a name, MongoDB Demo. The, one of the cool things about the new 8.0 driver is that it will automatically select a schema definition path for you. And if I want to change it, I can click this Browse. And I can change the location of where the schema is, or I can rename it. So without even opening the schema tool, I can click Test Connect and our driver will do the work for you. It will sample the data and it will automatically generate a normalized schema for your data. Connection established. Now, if I wanted to change the schema myself, I can go into the schema tool and I can take a look at what was automatically generated and I can add things, remove things, move it around, or if I want to, for instance, not see something, like I don't want to see this local database, I can click this Remove button. So that one JSON file that I showed you earlier is here in this test database. And you can see it's the Star Wars JSON file. And you can see the various layers. It started off with the species results, which has a generated ID. And it has all the various species names and their classifications, their heights. And within there, there was another nest, a nested array for eye colors. And same with hair colors and people. And within peoples, there was another nest called films. And as you can see, our driver has normalized this data for you. So I'm just going to save this schema. And I'm going to open up Tableau and give you a better visualization. We're going to look for the data source that we created called MongoDB Demo. We're going to click Connect. And now we're going to take a look on the left-hand side. Every single table that we saw in the schema tool is now here in Tableau. So I'm going to drag a couple of these tables over. So this is the, the main level table, the Star Wars test table. I want the results. Let's say that I also want to take a look at which people were inside each of the species. And how about what films each of these people were a part of. So here in Tableau, I can easily locate all of the species names and all of the people associated with those species. You can see this all listed out now. Every single person that is associated with a droid, or an Ewok, or a Gungan. And let's say I also wanted to see 
what the film distribution looked like with these species. So I can make this a little bit easier to see by pulling the species over here on the left hand side and I can count up all of the people. So now we get a nice aggregated view of the people and species within each of the films in the Star Wars franchise. So as a recap, we have just taken a look at a complex JSON file within MongoDB and utilized the DataDirect MongoDB 8.0 ODBC driver to normalize that data in order to use a BI tool such as Tableau to run SQL queries on that JSON data. Thank you for watching this demo and please visit the Progress website to try the MongoDB connector for yourself.